Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you in Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be another episode of Card Talk. In this video, it's going to be a shout out to Drago, who suggested that I talk about the Ace. Now, <clears throat> the card I'm talking about is his full name Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Dragonic Overlord <clears throat> the Ace. Seven words. Holy hell. I'm, they're eventually going to have to start, like, making the line text on the card name, like, this big, so they can have two lines, because this is getting ridiculous. I mean, it, 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 I mean, if anyone's ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, super special awesome secret transformation, I mean, I mean, that's what that, this feels like. Supreme, heavenly, emperor, dragon, okay, supreme, it means top, heavenly, meaning awesome, well, then, Supreme and Emperor, technically, wouldn't it really mean the same thing? You know, I mean, so... Because Supreme means dominance, top of the line, and Emperor means the top. So... <clears throat> I, I, what's with these long-ass names? That's all, I'm, that, that's all I'm saying. Okay, his ability, and the gist of the ability... This isn't word for word. If you want to read the word for word effect, you can go to the card wiki and check it out. Um, I just write down enough to where I can tell you the gist of the effect to where you'll understand it. Um, Counter Blast 2, Persona Flip, and if you have two cards face up in your G-Zone, you get the ability of minus one to the drive check, <clears throat> and at the end of the battle where this unit attacked a Vanguard, you can discard one card and a card with Overlord in its card name, so two cards total. If you do, stand this unit and it gains plus 5k until end of turn. So essentially what this does is it does kind of the same thing Vic Plasma does for the Extreme Battlers. And <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me what I think about this card, and it's cool. Um, I'm glad Overlord got a G-Unit. I still don't think this is going to be the end of Overlord. Overlord is just way too popular in the game for them to just kind of like... I don't see this being the last Overlord we've seen, but that's just me. Um... I mean, it's good. Um, it's not the best Overlord card that we've ever got, in my opinion. Um, I think this card has the potential to be good. You just have to figure out when the right moment to spring it would be. Um, so, but that's really all there is to say. I mean, you'll be able to splash this in any deck that you play an Overlord in. So, if you play Perditions, if you play... Well, not really Perditions. Well, I guess you could. Yeah, you could play it in Perditions, you could play it in the end, you could play it in the cross, you could play it in Rebirth. I mean, <laughs> any deck that has an Overlord in it, you could throw this card in there and you'd be fine. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much all it is. Um, it restands and gains 5k. So it, re so, it essentially gains a Minerva effect while having the cost of Vic Plasma. So, that's pretty much all there is to it. It is a good card. Um, I will admit the artwork is extremely beautiful, and for that reason alone, I will pick up every single one of these things that I can find. Um, so, cool name, just a little long. So, Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Dragonic over Lord the Ace. <laughs> so, there's my thoughts on the card. Um, so, thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Remember to leave a suggestion for the next card for me to talk about, and if I talk about your card, I'll give you a shout-out. So thank you very much, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you next time.